Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Natasha and I'm an international beauty photographer from Berlin. Today I'm going to show you three of my favorite creative photo effects to bring your photography to the next level. If you are in a creative deep or you just want to try something new with your camera and create interesting images, then you should watch this video until the end. I explain each photo effect with an example and show you which camera settings I used. I will let you know which equipment I used and which products you need to achieve the same results. I will also rank the effects from an easy to a harder level and I show you what to pay attention to in order to achieve the perfect results. This video is part of a series where I show you how I achieve different creative effects out of cam and I hope I can inspire you to get more creative with your photography. And now let's start the video. I will start with one of the easiest but very impressive effects and that's water drops. I like to use this effect especially for my beauty macro shots or product photography but you can also apply this effect to the whole face, body parts or other objects. Feel free to experiment. For this shoot I'm working with Eden as my model and Erin as my makeup artist. For the beauty macro shot Erin primed Eden's face with skincare. After that he applied some contour and a matte red lipstick to her lips. I would recommend a bright lip color for this effect so that the water drops will pop out. It is also very important to use a matte lipstick because the drops then will stay better in place. With the matte base they also create a wonderful second texture and add a lot of dimension into the picture. To create this effect you will only need a simple water spray bottle. You should be able to find a bottle like this in every drugstore. For this effect the mist of the spray is very important. So my personal tip is to buy a spray with a very fine mist for little droplets to achieve the best results. I apply the mist directly to the lips with the spray bottle. The fine mist creates little water drops that reflect the light or sometimes also part of the surroundings. When spraying make sure that you spread the mist well so that the drops are arranged evenly. If the drops are too large at one point then you can remove them with a piece of tissue and spray only this part again. You have to be quick to get the best results because the water will run down the face after some time. I shoot with my Canon 5D Mark IV and my Sigma 105mm macro lens. My camera settings are a shutter speed of 1 to 160 seconds, an ISO of 100 and an aperture of 20 to get everything really sharp in my picture. Feel free to change the aperture to a lower number and experiment even more. We did different takes with this effect because once the water runs down the lips you have to reapply the lipstick and the mist. And here is the final result. This effect is very easy for beginners and definitely worth a try. My second really cool photo effect is color filters. You can use them in many different ways and I will show you two of them in today's video. Color filters are an advanced tool to work with and you can create dramatic looks with them but I also already use them for beauty advertising campaigns. They create an interesting effect that allows you to colorize subjects either completely or partially. To show this effect Aaron did a bare face makeup look on Eden to direct the focus on the effect of the filters. In my many years of working as a photographer I have built up a small collection of different color filters. For this effect I will use one blue filter to show you how you partially colorize a model. I hold the filter in one hand between my lens and my model. This way I can see the changes directly through my camera. You can vary the distance between the filter and the lens to influence the sharpness of the color edges. A simple rule for this is, the closer the filter is to the lens, the blurrier the color edges becomes. You can play around with it and get various results. For the light setup I used a hard zoom reflector. I went with a smaller light source because sometimes the filters reflect the light and the larger light source would have increased this reflection and it would be harder to work with it. For my camera settings I used a shutter speed of 1 to 160 seconds, an ISO of 100 and an aperture of 13. For the second way to use color filters I attached the gel directly to my zoom reflector with some tape. With this method I can colorize my model completely because the flash now has a different color. You can use as many flashes and filters as you want for this. I changed my one light setup from the previous effect to a setup with two zoom reflectors because I enjoy playing with various colors at the same time. I like to use two flashes with different colors that are either similar or complement to each other. For this reason I chose a blue and a purple filter to work with for this effect. But you don't have to use more than one light source to create a wonderful picture. 
To create a very dramatic look, I placed the two lights on each side of the model. With this setup, I can split the model's face in two colors and it looks beautiful. And I used the same camera settings as before. A set of color filters isn't expensive and you can reuse them as often as you want. And now it's your turn to try out many different color combinations. For the third photo effect, I got something very special for you. I love to work with the blurred effect. It creates movement and dynamic to a certain kind of looks and brings the party vibe to beauty shots. I recommend using glitter or something that can reflect the light to amplify this effect. You need a little bit of practice for this advanced setting, but you will get in quickly if you try out different things. For today's video, I chose to work with little stars that Aaron attached to Eden's face. I changed the background color from gray to black to enhance the following effect. To realize it, you have to pay attention to the camera settings. It is important to know that the longer the shutter speed is, the more movement is captured. So for this effect, I changed my camera settings to 1.8 seconds, an ISO of 200 and an aperture of 22. Feel free to try out many shutter speed settings from 1.15 to many seconds. And that's how it works. I use a one light setup with a hard flash in combination with the blurred effect. As soon as I press the button, the flash lights up my model. Now it's important to be quick. You have to move your camera to the side while the shot is taken. If you listen carefully, you will hear the first click when you press the shutter button and the second click if the shutter speed is completed. You have to move the camera between the two clicks to get the blurred effect. This method allows you to influence the trace of lights created by the after effect of the flash. A small movement of the camera is enough to make a glamorous look even more interesting. You can try out different things with the speed of your movement or the direction of it. Feel free to shake the camera around, everything is fine to get the desired result. A second way to use the blur effect is to reverse the movement. Now the model can pose freely and move during the shoot while the camera stays still. A simple rule for this is, the more Eden moves, the more motion is captured. I like to work with this effect very much because you can't plan the outcomes. You have to try out different things to find the perfect method for your concept. So have fun and try out. And here are the results from all effects. And now I want to tell you about something special for Christmas. I worked very hard this year to give you access to my brand new Natasha Lindemann Plus website. It's an education platform for photographers, models and makeup artists. There is already a lot of free content in the blog and there will be more in the future. And with my exclusive newsletter, the Plus Letter, I share many secret insights, job offers, giveaways, limited editions, events and discount codes. And the best thing is that it's totally free to sign up and receive all of these goodies. So whether you are a photographer, model or makeup artist, you can now sign up and get the plus letter. The link is in the description. That's it for today. I hope you liked this video and I could inspire you to try out new things. Feel free to experiment with your settings and tag me in your outcomes. I can't wait to see your results and if you now want to see my next video, you can click here.